Hi everyone, welcome to FM Scout and in today's video we've got a bit of a treat for you. Obviously you have seen Wonder Kid Superstar. This one is Wonder Team to Super Team. Right then guys, welcome to FM Scout and as usual, alright, big thumbs up on the video, subscribe if you're not already and uh, check out my content as well guys, the link to my channel is in the description. So yes, the wonder team to super team. Alright, so as you can see right here, we've pretty much taken over Southampton, got rid of all of their players and inserted 19 players who are all youngsters. All have potential abilities of 160 to 145. Obviously, some of them have got fixed potential abilities, so we haven't changed them. But the majority of these players all have a 160 max PA potential. Um, and yeah, got some strikers in there. Obviously, got some centre-backs, got a couple of goalkeepers. It's all down to the assistant manager and the simulation on who gets played, on who actually progresses better. I will try and... Make sure people do progress as best as possible. Try to get try to get the players to the prime. Uh, but someone obviously mentioned it in the comments, saying they wanted a whole team of Wonder Kids. See how they would do over 15, 16 years in the Premier League, and hopefully they do alright. Hopefully they smash. Obviously, I'm going to be using the same tactic that I always use anyway with Manchester United when I do Wonder Kid Superstar. Hopefully it will do all right. But there is some nice talents in this squad. All right, chat. There's a, a Ruyo. Decent, uh, decent striker already. Pretty tall. 5'11", 14 finishing. Decent physicals, decent mentals. All right, you've got the likes of uh, Molinas. Again, another good player. Argentinian, 20 years old. All right, so all of these players, obviously, we could go through them all and give you all the rundown on the cost but some of them are cheap some of them are expensive all right all depends on their starting potential in your save as well obviously some of them you might need some work permits for uh two um but then you've got the likes of antov all right decent center back six foot two 20 years old bulgarian you got martinez right uh right back nice tackling on him bazunu you've got over bazunu guys all right he's from uh, originally from man city obviously Went to a couple of clubs on loan, but he's pretty decent already. 19-year-old Irish lad, 16 reflexes, nice one-on-ones. Um, a lot of other players, Scalvini, centre-back. All right, good centre-back as well. Nice determination, heading, marking, tackling. And there's all of these as well. Campos, Ruiz, all right. Yoriel Selly, then you've got Bjork, Demir. We've got loads of players in this team because we had to make, had to make, a team of wonder kids uh, to work with the rotation as well obviously because some of these guys might get injured because we don't take off injuries and uh yeah hopefully they do all right hopefully they can maybe win the premier league hopefully they can win some uh, silverware as well so obviously when i do the simulation i'll go to the home look profile go on holiday i won't lock the team in this time because we're not doing a single player like in wonder to uh, wonder, wonder kid superstar we're doing a whole team so all i'm going to do is locking the match tactics, but leave the team as is. Let my assistant, let the coaches sort out who's the best player, who can play in the positions, and who should go forward with most games, all right? So we'll go a couple of years, see how they get on. All right, then, here we are, 2024, guys, all right? You can see the players right now are starting to progress in their transfer values, all right? They are increasing. The best or most expensive player we've got now is Giorgio Scalvini. He's the centre-back that we got, 73 to 87 million. Um, Shelder up. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I hope I am. Uh, Bazunu, Martinez, Arrujo, Diamande are all good players now getting some nice wages. They've got uh, the valued pretty high as well. Uh, let's have a look at Scalvini then. Most expensive players, 20 years old now. It's been three years and it's looking like a nice centre-back to be fair. Great anticipation. Heading's gone up. Marking's gone up. Tackling's gone up. Physicals are slowly going up as well if we look on to the stats that will tell us what players have been playing the most so we'll go to overall there we go so bazunu is looking like he is the main choice goalkeeper over martinez because he's barely playing that's martinez right now not a lot of development but still not a bad backup goalkeeper bazunu on the other hand is getting a lot better aerial reach has gone up reflexes are going up one-on-ones are going up is worth an absolute fortune and he's got some caps for ireland 
as well now. So, uh, yeah, nice, tidy goalkeeper out there. The biggest goal scorers is obviously Arujo. He is the chosen striker for this formation. He's looking pretty decent as well. Physicals are all looking pretty nice as well. Uh, off the ball is pretty good. Anticipation, dribbling, finishing, and first touch is going up. So he's turned out to be a pretty good uh, a pretty good striker. you got the likes of, let's have a look at Aaron Molinas. All right, 43, three goals, five assists. Created 21. He's creating the most chances. Again. It looks really, really good. Decisions have gone up. Determination, anticipation, agility is 17. He can play in quite a few, a few spaces, uh, quite a few um, positions in the pitch as well. So, nice player. So, yeah, obviously looking all right so far. If we go to the Premier League, um, let's have a look at the stages. So, this season, Southampton, we finished 10th. Uh, last season was 13th, and the season before that was 11th. So we, have, we haven't actually improved massively. We've just lingered around mid-table. Uh, we're not really pushing for anything great yet, but we... We have a young squad still, all right? They're not quite at the prime. The next part of the video is going to be at the prime. So hopefully then they can start quali uh, qualifying. Get into the top fours, top six, something like that, obviously. Um, that's the plan, anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, so did they win any silverware in the last couple of years? English FA Cup, uh, past winners. Liverpool, Man U and Arsenal, but we weren't runners-up in either of them. Uh, and then if we go to the Carabao Cup, all right, past winners, again, Man City, Liverpool, and Leicester, and the runners-up were Tottenham, Chelsea, and Tottenham. So we haven't won any silverware either, guys. Uh, let's go to the prime years of this whole team now. Hopefully we've won somewhat. Hopefully we look like we're in a decent position to challenge for the top of the table, or we've become a top-table team um, at the very least. So, yeah, we'll go to, we'll go, we'll go to the uh, year where everyone's in the prime now. So here we are now, guys. 2031 is the year, all right? And uh, everyone here, I've looked through. I've looked through what they are uh, compared to their potential abilities. And the majority of the squad, not all of them, all right? Because all of them are struggling to get game time and everything like that. But the majority of the squad are all working to their maximum potential now. So 160. Uh, the ones that did have the uh, set in stone potential abilities are about 146 to 156, something like that. Um, they're looking pretty good as well. So, again, we are here. Uh, 2031, the most expensive player we've got is Scalvini. Right? Centre-back has pretty much stayed as the most influential, the most expensive, the most, the best performer of the squad, in a way, um, through the years. All right, Scalvini is looking very good now. Uh, marking, heading, and tackling is not massively high, but his mentals and his physicals are very good. He's got nice natural fitness, good jumping reach, good balance, anticipation, concentration, and decisions are all good as well. Just below him, you've got Kays Ruiz. All right, looking very, very good. You can def you definitely can tell that he is from Barcelona. Um, great dribbling, great corners, great free kick taking. Passing is fantastic. Vision, technique, uh, agility, balance, anticipation, decisions, flair. He is a very, very good player if you ever decide to get this guy. Um, everyone, then you've got the likes of Sarinic. All right, the uh, the Croatian 28-year-old now, obviously, is a wonder kid. Um, again, another player that can play in a, quite a few positions. Uh, great first touch, great corners, great flair, great vision. Um, Yoriel Selly, set-piece specialist, guys. If you ever wanted to get a player like that who could become your set-piece specialist. Passing, 18. His vision's not as high as I wanted, but penalty taking, 17. Free kick taking, 20. Corners, 18. Crossing, 16 he is a very very dangerous player guys but unfortunately he didn't get used a lot as a starting player he most he mostly came on as a substitute because as you know i haven't locked in certain players but yeah very very good player nice physicals as well for yoriel selly henry carullo obviously is still the main striker his finishing now has gone up to 16 physicals are fantastic he's pretty quick he's agile and he's got great balance as well anticipation composure and off the ball is uh, extremely extremely good um so far he's played 358 games for southampton and has uh, scored 196 goals so that's not too bad for a player that you i don't think they cost a lot considering that they've only got a max pa of 160 um another great player was pinero I think he was a really good, nice acceleration, nice pace. He can play in two positions, obviously left back and right back. And he's got nice varied attributes. All right? The left and right backs of this test are actually pretty good. 
Um, if we go to Martinez, again, right-hand side, look, a very good right-back and can play centre-back if needs be. Um, he's got good agility, good fitness, great tackling at 17. Great tackling. Um, you've got the likes of uh, Campos as well, the left-back. Insane talent. He is an insane talent. I really, really like the look of this guy um, in the prime. And I, th I feel like this guy might be one of the top three players out of this whole team. Um, seven assists, one goal. So he's, he's getting up there considering it's an inverted wing back. But yeah, a very tidy player all in all, guys. Obviously, Diamond is looking pretty good as well. Nice vision. He's got nice finishing as well. If you ever want an attacking midfielder or a shadow striker, I think this guy could be the one for you. So... Overall, Southampton's young squad now are all playing in their prime. Uh, looking really, really good. Let's go to the Premier Division. Have we actually improved in that sense? All right, so let's go all the way to the start. All the way to the start now. So first season ever, we finished 11th, then 13th, then 10th, then 6th. So it looks like we're improving a little bit. 6th again. Ooh, went down to 13th, struggled a little bit there. All the way back up to 5th, so it was just one bad season. 7th, uh, 11th, 5th, best so far. And so far, yeah, 5th position is the best. So even though we're not world breakers yet, we're not top 4 team, we are, I would say consistently, it was only 2 seasons where it looked like we dropped off. But we are an established top 10 team now, lingering around the 7th, 8th and 6th places on a constant basis. So, uh it's, it's not bad. It's not bad because obviously when you have your game, you would have the standout superstars, some two or three players who are so much better than everybody else. I have in my saves, obviously you always buy that one great striker or the attacking midfielder who's just mint and they just score so many goals and they can make the difference and come in fifth to come in second. Um, but yeah, overall for a team of... Uh, just above par wonder kids at 160 obviously it's not all of them are 160 it's not too bad they've done pretty well right, competitions fa court have they won any silverware past winners man U, everton liverpool liverpool tottenham liverpool just ran away with it all right so not the uh, fa cup carabao cup the one out there no <laughs> no they haven't they haven't even come second that's a shame but they did qualify for Euros, didn't they? So uh, did they win any of the European Cups? Let's have a look. So here we are with the Euro Cup now. Uh, winners, Atletico Madrid, uh, Man City, Valencia, Brighton. Nice one, Brighton. Uh, but unfortunately, once again, we didn't win any of that either. So we're doing all right. We're not doing great, great, as you would probably expect. But we can still do better. Well, we've still got plenty of years to go with all these players now competing in their prime um, ability. So hopefully we can break into the top four and start doing a little bit better. Because now on the next part of the video, we'll go to the end of the careers. All right, we'll go to, we've pretty much done a 15 year sin, 15, 16 year sin. That takes some players to about 35, 34 years old. Everyone's starting to drop. We'll get a lot worse, but we'll, we want to see what we've done in those 15 years uh, in total. Right then, as you can see then guys, we're in the uh, year 2036. Um, Scalvini, who has been the top rated player in our team for so many years, um, is only worth 31 to 34 million now. So you know that we're all getting a little bit worse. All right, Scalvini still doesn't look too bad though. He's still a very good player. Bear in mind he's 32, he's got some years to go, um, but there is some players that are getting on a bit. All right, so the oldest player we've got is Palacios, um, 35 years old for him, Molinas as well, 35. So... We can't carry on until they're really old and other people are retiring and everything like that. So we rounded it off to 15, 16 seasons. Uh, Molinas is looking really good still, though. His uh, physicals are going down a little bit, but mentals and technicals are looking absolutely excellent. Uh, Bazunu, very good goalkeeper, guys. Very good goalkeeper. Aerial reach, 17. Kicking, 16. One-on-ones is very good. Reflexes are awesome. Top-rated goalkeeper, guys, if you can get him. And hopefully he will be um, the kind of player that has a high PA in your save and not a low PA because it can be like 130 to 160, stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, he's a very good goalkeeper in the end. Obviously, Ruiz, a very good midfielder, attacking midfielder, great vision, great corners. Again, great mentals. Uh, Emery Demir. Another fantastic wonder kid. Uh, Turkish this time, 18, 19 vision. 
all right becomes a very good passer of the ball um martinez again we've looked at this guy right back now i think he was very good i think the defenders on this simulation have been um, have been excellent antov uh pretty decent as well but he's one of the guys with the fixed pa of uh, 146 i think i believe um Uriel Sally. An absolute danger on the ball. Nine goals, eight assists in this last season of his. Um, but yeah, again, set-piece specialist, guys. I mentioned it before. Uh, loads of other players. Martinez got a little bit better, but he barely played any football, guys, which means he was not going to get as good as we thought. Bazunu was the choice um, for the assistant, uh, assistant manager and the coaching staff. Uh, he was the first choice goalkeeper and obviously Martinez was the second choice. Then you got Pinero. I think he was really good right back. Um, Mukin, I think he was pretty good as well. Mukin. Molinas, excellent. He was just excellent. Great player. Uh, definitely worth a buy this one. But yeah, overall, not too bad for the uh, now old squad. Um, Premier Division, how have we lined up? How have we finished? Um, in the past, all right, let's have a lot of stages. So the season that's just been, it was 12th. It's pretty much expected. You're basically playing against old men. Um, season before that was 12th, all right, seventh place there. Second in the year, um, 20, so in the year 32 to 33. So all the players are pretty much playing at the prime. They're still fairly young, being probably 29, 30 years old. And this was the best season, I believe second place all right unfortunately 11 points still behind at first place liverpool but not too shabby uh, at the end of things all right and then fourth place there uh, fifth again so only two times did they finish in the top four and qualify for the champions league did we actually win it bad chance <laughs> bad chance all right let's have a look pass winners bayern liverpool arsenal liverpool liverpool real madrid we didn't even come second in any of them um, either but uh, if we go to the european cup or easy yet let's just go to the team history uh, club info history overview so fa cup we've won once uh, in 1976 so that wasn't part of this simulation european super cup we won uh, in the 33 season nice euro cup we did win in the 33 season and then we won no Premier Leagues or other trophies than that. So it wasn't the best, all right? It was a little bit up and down. You can see on this league history as well that it was a little bit up and down. But there's still some great players, all right? And there's uh, some fantastic uh, strikers in there. Obviously, the main striker throughout the whole lot was Arruyo. Uh, all competitions, he got 291 goals, guys, just in the league. He would have got more than that in the Cups and also uh, internationally as well he did get 22 international caps four goals um shelder up another great player norwegian 63 caps 80 goals for him he assisted a ton as well career stats you can see here doing great on that left hand side or right hand side um another player palacios all right again played really really well 52 goals 21 assists for him yoriel selly it was a shame he didn't play as much as i thought he would um but he come into it really at the end of the season um 63 goals 38 assists for him i think you could get a lot better definitely out of that guy he is a great great servant uh, for this club and in my opinion if you had because we didn't actually have anyone set for set pieces or anything like that um but if you had this guy I would say on the wing, taking advantage of his crossing. Uh, corners, obviously set him up for the set pieces, put him on the free kicks, put him on the penalties. He will be an absolute beast for any team that chooses to have this guy. And hopefully you get a high potential one. That way he will become the set piece specialist that you see before you right now. Um, again, loads of, loads of other players. Sarinich turned out really, really good. You got uh, Fatuwu. Um, again, a Ghanaian player, pretty decent. Didn't play as much as we liked, but not too shabby. All right, so you've got to pretty much have a big uh, database. Obviously, a lot of leagues loaded up to have all these guys uh, in your team. But if you can get them, guys, there is a couple of standout performers here. I've just shown you. Um, in my opinion, Arruyo was decent. But out of everyone, I would have Yoriel Selly, set-piece specialist all day long. Absolutely insane. Um, there was Ruiz, a great attacking midfielder, a little bit lightweight, but as that attacking midfielder, role shadow striker, uh, that kind of thing, I think he'll be absolutely insane for you. There was Molinas, 
another option for the midfield or attacking midfielder position. Uh, and then Campos as well. I think Campos is great. He just, he just, his attributes are suit, will suit me down to the ground. All right, he's the type of left back, left winger, left inside forward. He could play all up that left hand side and is a really, really good player. Um, reasonable and pretty strong on both feet as well. So, yeah, totally not bad. No one, unfortunately, out of the team won any major awards. Right? No one won the Ballon d'Or, which is a shame. But when you've got the likes of Haaland and Mbappe and Messi, and it's difficult and all these players don't forget. They're only 160 PA. All right? So maybe in a really good tactic and individually, they might do a little bit better in your saves, guys. All right? But overall, it's not too bad. All right? It was a really good uh, simulation. Unfortunately, we didn't really win anything major apart from the European Cup and the Super Cup once. But, yeah, don't forget, guys. You're only going to get one or two of these. You're never really going to get this whole team right here. But if you ever did, just know this is roughly how they could do. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I definitely recommend probably Yoriel Selly. He's top player, top Top set piece specialist, and I think he'll do a lot of damage in this game because we all know how easy it is now to score from free kicks. When you've got someone with 20 free kicks, it's just going to go in every single time, isn't it? That was the wonder team to super team, uh, ladies and gents. But unfortunately, it wasn't quite um, super, super duper. Uh, they did fairly well, some nice players overall, but uh, yeah. Not too bad. But obviously, you can see the list there, guys. If you want to get these players in, just uh, hopefully you've got the right database. Hopefully, you've got the right league loaded up. You can find them in your save, and they'll be absolutely excellent uh, for you if you decide to buy them. All right, so this is Wonder Team Super Team. This is FM Scout. I'm Top of Jobs. Subscribe. Big thumbs up to the video, and we'll see you in the future. See you later. Bye.